Robinson jumps in there for the Crusaders. Robinson around the back, fitted toward the front. And an off shot by Ferguson, and here's a score. It redirected off a shot from the point by Skelly. And it redirected past Marat. Holy Cross gets a goal a little less than five minutes in, and the Crusaders are off to a 1-0 lead. Anthony Vincent, he'll bank it out to the right point. Holding on to it there, Brophy into the middle. Call it's tip. Save made by Marat. Holy Cross really looking for those redirects in front. Dara centering feet. Call it gathers. He scores. Call it right in the middle. Took the feed from Dara. And he ripped it past Marat. It's a power play goal for Holy Cross. And a 2-0 Crusaders lead. Could not draw up a better start for Holy Cross. Overall, they only had six shots on goal in the first period, so they've already had more in the first eight minutes of the second period. Cutting to the middle, fed across, and a score. Gordon went down early, and Israel goes up top to get the Colonials on the board. A great patience for Israel. You know, potentially, there was an opportunity for that, despite... Robert Morris getting the puck to Israel in space. You know, he still had some players in his way, one defender and the goalie, but sort of just waited them out <laughs> until they just both dropped out of the picture, and then it was easy after that for Israel. Yeah, offensive zone win off the icing call. Excellent wing-to-wing -wing pass, and Atlanta hockey left to go. Potential two-on-one here. Vincent curls to the middle, a shot, and a flashy glove save by Marat. Snapped it up with a flourish. Yeah. That was a really, really great save by Marat. Probably the best save for either side of the game just because he was shielded a little bit based on where that shot got taken. Look at what happens right here with Giles. He's trying to slide and block the shot. Vincent smartly shoots it right over Giles. To keep it away from Cullen, otherwise he might have had a shorthanded chance. In Atlanta, now here's Laurie to around go. the fall and Dara walking in. Laurie delays and scores. Oh, the curl and extended drag from Michael Loria. And with 12 seconds left on the power play, Robert Morris scores. And we start over tied 2-2. Yeah, you knew that as, as soon as Derek just unfortunately hit a bad patch of ice or something, just fell, Holy Cross was going to be in trouble there. And then what an excellent job of delaying and dragging, like you said, by, by Loria. Delayed off sides, allows Holy Cross the quick clear back the other way, looking for a three on two. Backhand feed across a shot and a score into the open goal. Holy Cross takes the lead back three to two off the nice rush by O'Leary. I believe it was Kessel who put it in. Yeah, it was. Kessel leads the handshake line for Holy Cross. And to me, though, identifying O'Leary, Ben, is key. I mean, he was bold. Quick re-entry, here comes Tonge, up the middle, Tonge fires and scores. Just a little delay by Alex Tonge. He got right to the middle and was able to snap one past the blocker of Eric Gordon to tie it at three. Interesting, you know, back and forth sequence right there where Holy Cross, they were trying to attempt a stretch pass in the other direction and maybe end up getting a little bit ambitious. And Tonge just really not possessing a huge numbers advantage right there, but just sort of getting himself. Crusaders penalty, of course. And a big opportunity for the Crusaders to try to win one. Here's Israel walking in, he scores! A shorthanded goal for Eric Israel over the shoulder of Eric Gordon. And 14 seconds into the Holy Cross power play. Robert Morris grabs a 4-3 lead. It's almost inexplicable. I mean, we mentioned earlier how Robert Morris has been picking up more shorthanded chances over the course of the season. They had a three on two here. Israel scores his second of the game. And I don't know, for whatever reason, it's kind of uncanny. A couple of the best rushes that Robert Morris has had. Marat, Robert has it up ahead. Coleman run off the play. Dara turns with 15 left, stolen at center. Coleman hits the open net, and Robert Morris, after going down 2-0 in the first and 3-2 early in the third, is going to steal one again from the Crusaders here in Worcester. It's been their building to play in. Robert Morris, a team that was coming in struggling so much. 
And down. they had lost nine of 10. They got the bye week. They shrugged off a late five minute major. And they got a big night from a couple different key players. Eric Israel with a pair of goals. Alex Tunge with a goal and two assists. And Robert Morris comes away with a huge 5-3 road win tonight at Holy Cross.